Your question is find the equation of the set of points which are equidistant from the points 1 comma 2 comma 3 and 3 comma 2 comma minus 1. Hmm? No. So just first we will understand what they have told. So they have told there is a point. Suppose that point is your P. This point is equidistant from these two coordinates. So now we will take this as A and this as B. That means that A is here and B is here. And the coordinates of A is 1 comma 2 comma 3 and B is 3 comma 2 comma minus 1. Now we will take the coordinates of P. They are x comma y comma z so they have told equidistance that means what ap is equal to bp or you can say pa is equal to pb anything you can say so we will write ap is equal to bp by distance formula we will find out this so what is your distance formula that we will write Distance is equal to root over x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square. First we will go for AP. AP is what? AP is equal to root under what is that? See this 1 minus x 1 minus x whole square plus 2 minus y 2 minus y whole square plus 3 minus z whole square. Now we will write for BP. BP is equal to root under what is that? 3 minus x. 3 minus x whole square plus 2 minus y whole square plus minus 1 minus z whole square. Hmm? Hmm. Now, so next they have told AP is equal to BP. That means we have to write one for left and another is for right. That we will write. That is your what? Root over one root is here. That is equal to second root is here. That we will write. One minus X whole square plus 2 minus y whole square plus 3 minus z whole square and here it is 3 minus x whole square plus 2 minus y whole square plus minus 1 minus z whole square. Next what you have to do? Squaring both sides. Squaring both sides. After squaring both, both sides, what happens? This square root will go out. Only the values will be there. That only we will write. That is your 1 minus x whole square plus 2 minus y whole square plus 3 minus z whole square. That is equal to same 3 minus z whole square 3 minus x whole square plus 2 minus y whole square plus minus 1 minus z whole square. Now you can see here both side 2 minus y is there. If you bring this to this side it will become a minus of that. That means we can directly cancel it. Now solve this. What you will get? a minus b whole square. 
that means you will get 1 plus x square minus 2x this over plus 3 minus z whole square is 9 plus z square minus 6z that is equal to now 3 minus x whole square again same 9 plus x square minus 6x and here it is minus 1 minus z that means it will be a a plus b whole square only so you will get what 1 plus z square plus 2z hmm? now bring this to this side that means everything should be at your left and try to rearrange them so what here you will get x square is here minus 2x plus z square minus 6z plus 1 plus 9 is 10. Bring this to left side and rearrange also. So every sign will get changed now. So you will get minus x square minus 6x means plus 6x now. Plus 6x. Here it is plus z square that means minus z square. Here it is plus 2z means minus 2z. And here it is 9 plus 1 is 10. And if you bring to left side it will be minus 10. That is equal to 0 now. Now cut it. You can see x square is here minus x square is here. Z square is here, minus Z square is here. So what we will get? Minus 2X plus 6X is 4X. Here it is minus 6Z, here it is minus 2Z. That means it's a minus 8Z. That is equal to 0. Now if you see here, it is divisible by 4. So directly divided by 4. What you will get? We will get x minus 2z that is equal to 0. Therefore, this is your answer.